South Korea's economy is fiercely competitive due to its focus on export-driven industries and highly skilled workforce. The country has shifted from being an aid recipient to a major global player, with a strong emphasis on high-tech industries like semiconductors, electronics, and automobile manufacturing. South Korea has invested heavily in education and research, leading to a highly skilled lead workforce and a thriving startup ecosystem. Nevertheless, challenges such as an aging population and geopolitical tensions persist. Overall, South Korea's economic competitiveness is sustained by its dedication to innovation, education, and export-oriented industries. South Korea's economy is fiercely competitive due to its focus on export-driven industries and highly skilled workforce. The country has shifted from being an aid recipient to a major global player, with a strong emphasis on high-tech industries like semiconductors, electronics, and automobile manufacturing. South Korea has invested heavily in education and research, leading to a highly skilled lead workforce and a thriving startup ecosystem. Nevertheless, challenges such as an aging population and geopolitical tensions persist. Overall, South Korea's economic competitiveness is sustained by its dedication to innovation, education, and export-oriented industries. South Korea's economy is fiercely competitive due to its focus on export-driven industries and highly skilled workforce. The country has shifted from being an aid recipient to a major global player, with a strong emphasis on high-tech industries like semiconductors, electronics, and automobile manufacturing. South Korea has invested heavily in education and research, leading to a highly skilled lead workforce and a thriving startup ecosystem. Nevertheless, challenges such as an aging population and geopolitical tensions persist. Overall, South Korea's economic competitiveness is sustained by its dedication to innovation, education, and export-oriented industries. South Korea's economy is fiercely competitive due to its focus on export-driven industries and highly skilled workforce. The country has shifted from being an aid recipient to a major global player, with a strong emphasis on high-tech industries like semiconductors, electronics, and automobile manufacturing. South Korea has invested heavily in education and research, leading to a highly skilled lead workforce and a thriving startup ecosystem. Nevertheless, challenges such as an aging population and geopolitical tensions persist. Overall, South Korea's economic competitiveness is sustained by its dedication to innovation, education, and export-oriented industries. South Korea's economy is fiercely competitive due to its focus on export-driven industries and highly skilled workforce. The country has shifted from being an aid recipient to a major global player, with a strong emphasis on high-tech industries like semiconductors, electronics, and automobile manufacturing. South Korea has invested heavily in education and research, leading to a highly skilled lead 
workforce and a thriving startup ecosystem. Nevertheless, challenges such as an aging population and geopolitical tensions persist. Overall, South Korea's economic competitiveness is sustained by its dedication to innovation, education, and export-oriented industries. South Korea's economy is fiercely competitive due to its focus on export-driven industries and highly skilled workforce. The country has shifted from being an aid recipient to a major global player, with a strong emphasis on high-tech industries like semiconductors, electronics, and automobile manufacturing. South Korea has invested heavily in education and research, leading to a highly skilled lead workforce and a thriving startup ecosystem. Nevertheless, challenges such as an aging population and geopolitical tensions persist. Overall, South Korea's economic competitiveness is sustained by its dedication to innovation, education, and export-oriented industries. South Korea's economy is fiercely competitive due to its focus on export-driven industries and highly skilled workforce. The country has shifted from being an aid recipient to a major global player, with a strong emphasis on high-tech industries like semiconductors, electronics, and automobile manufacturing. South Korea has invested heavily in education and research, leading to a highly skilled lead workforce and a thriving startup ecosystem. Nevertheless, challenges such as an aging population and geopolitical tensions persist. Overall, South Korea's economic competitiveness is sustained by its dedication to innovation, education, and export-oriented industries. South Korea's economy is fiercely competitive due to its focus on export-driven industries and highly skilled workforce. The country has shifted from being an aid recipient to a major global player, with a strong emphasis on high-tech industries like semiconductors, electronics, and automobile manufacturing. South Korea has invested heavily in education and research, leading to a highly skilled lead workforce and a thriving startup ecosystem. Nevertheless, challenges such as an aging population and geopolitical tensions persist. Overall, South Korea's economic competitiveness is sustained by its dedication to innovation, education, and export-oriented industries. South Korea's economy is fiercely competitive due to its focus on export-driven industries and highly skilled workforce. The country has shifted from being an aid recipient to a major global player, with a strong emphasis on high-tech industries like semiconductors, electronics, and automobile manufacturing. South Korea has invested heavily in education and research, leading to a highly skilled lead workforce and a thriving startup ecosystem. Nevertheless, challenges such as an aging population and geopolitical tensions persist. Overall, South Korea's economic competitiveness is sustained by its dedication to innovation, education, and export-oriented industries.
한국 경제는 수출 주도형 산업과 고도로 숙련된 노동력에 중점을 두고 있기 때문에 경쟁이 치열합니다. 한국은 반도체, 전자 및 자동차 제조와 같은 첨단 기술 산업에 중점을 두고 있으며 원조 수혜국에서 주요 글로벌 플레이어로 전환해 왔습니다. 한국은 교육과 연구에 막대한 투자를 하여 고도로 숙련된 인력과 번창하는 스타트업 생태계로 이어졌습니다. 그럼에도 불구하고 고령화와 지정학적 긴장과 같은 문제는 지속되고 있습니다. 전반적으로 한국의 경제 경쟁력은 혁신, 교육, 수출 중심 산업에 대한 헌신으로 유지되고 있습니다. South Korea's economy is fiercely competitive due to its focus on export-driven industries and highly skilled workforce. The country has shifted from being an aid recipient to a major global player, with a strong emphasis on high-tech industries like semiconductors, electronics, and automobile manufacturing. South Korea has invested heavily in education and research, leading to a highly skilled lead workforce and a thriving startup ecosystem. Nevertheless, challenges such as an aging population and geopolitical tensions persist. Overall, South Korea's economic competitiveness is sustained by its dedication to innovation, education, and export-oriented industries. According to scientists from Consumer Reports, a U.S.-based independent nonprofit organization, your favorite bar of dark chocolate may contain worrisome levels of cadmium and lead, harmful heavy metals. Continuing exposure to cadmium, for example, can cause a buildup of the metal in the kidneys, leading to kidney damage. It's also linked to lung damage, weakened and painful bones and high blood pressure. Even so, there are ways to enjoy dark chocolate while, at the same time, minimizing potential risks. Moderation is key. Stick to a one ounce serving of dark chocolate and don't eat it every day. The health risk comes with continuing and frequent consumption. According to scientists from Consumer Reports, a U.S.-based independent nonprofit organization, your favorite bar of dark chocolate may contain worrisome levels of cadmium and lead, harmful heavy metals. Continuing exposure to cadmium, for example, can cause a buildup of the metal in the kidneys, leading to kidney damage. It's also linked to lung damage, weakened and painful bones and high blood pressure. Even so, there are ways to enjoy dark chocolate while, at the same time, minimizing potential risks. Moderation is key. Stick to a one ounce serving of dark chocolate and don't eat it every day. The health risk comes with continuing and frequent consumption. According to scientists from Consumer Reports, a U.S.-based independent nonprofit organization, your favorite bar of dark chocolate may contain worrisome levels of cadmium and lead, harmful heavy metals. Continuing exposure to cadmium, for example, can cause a buildup of the metal in the kidneys, leading to kidney damage. It's also linked to lung damage, weakened and painful bones and high blood pressure. Even so, there are ways to enjoy dark chocolate while, at the same time, minimizing potential risks. Moderation is key. Stick to a one ounce serving of dark chocolate and don't eat it every day. The health risk comes with continuing and frequent consumption. According to scientists from Consumer Reports, 
A U.S.-based independent nonprofit organization, your favorite bar of dark chocolate may contain worrisome levels of cadmium and lead, harmful heavy metals. Continuing exposure to cadmium, for example, can cause a buildup of the metal in the kidneys, leading to kidney damage. It's also linked to lung damage, weakened and painful bones and high blood pressure. Even so, there are ways to enjoy dark chocolate while, at the same time, minimizing potential risks. Moderation is key. Stick to a one ounce serving of dark chocolate and don't eat it every day. The health risk comes with continuing and frequent consumption. According to scientists from Consumer Reports, a U.S.-based independent nonprofit organization, your favorite bar of dark chocolate may contain worrisome levels of cadmium and lead, harmful heavy metals. Continuing exposure to cadmium, for example, can cause a buildup of the metal in the kidneys, leading to kidney damage. It's also linked to lung damage, weakened and painful bones and high blood pressure. Even so, there are ways to enjoy dark chocolate while, at the same time, minimizing potential risks. Moderation is key. Stick to a one ounce serving of dark chocolate and don't eat it every day. The health risk comes with continuing and frequent consumption. According to scientists from Consumer Reports, a U.S.-based independent nonprofit organization, your favorite bar of dark chocolate may contain worrisome levels of cadmium and lead, harmful heavy metals. Continuing exposure to cadmium, for example, can cause a buildup of the metal in the kidneys, leading to kidney damage. It's also linked to lung damage, weakened and painful bones and high blood pressure. Even so, there are ways to enjoy dark chocolate while, at the same time, minimizing potential risks. Moderation is key. Stick to a one ounce serving of dark chocolate and don't eat it every day. The health risk comes with continuing and frequent consumption. According to scientists from Consumer Reports, a U.S.-based independent nonprofit organization, your favorite bar of dark chocolate may contain worrisome levels of cadmium and lead, harmful heavy metals. Continuing exposure to cadmium, for example, can cause a buildup of the metal in the kidneys, leading to kidney damage. It's also linked to lung damage, weakened and painful bones and high blood pressure. Even so, there are ways to enjoy dark chocolate while, at the same time, minimizing potential risks. Moderation is key. Stick to a one ounce serving of dark chocolate and don't eat it every day. The health risk comes with continuing and frequent consumption. According to scientists from Consumer Reports, a U.S.-based independent nonprofit organization, your favorite bar of dark chocolate may contain worrisome levels of cadmium and lead, harmful heavy metals. Continuing exposure to cadmium, for example, can cause a buildup of the metal in the kidneys, leading to kidney damage. It's also linked to lung damage, weakened and painful bones and high blood pressure. 
Even so, there are ways to enjoy dark chocolate while, at the same time, minimizing potential risks. Moderation is key. Stick to a one ounce serving of dark chocolate and don't eat it every day. The health risk comes with continuing and frequent consumption. According to scientists from Consumer Reports, a US based independent nonprofit organization, your favorite bar of dark chocolate may contain worrisome levels of cadmium and lead, harmful heavy metals. Continuing exposure to cadmium, for example, can cause a buildup of the metal in the kidneys, leading to kidney damage. It's also linked to lung damage, weakened and painful bones and high blood pressure. Even so, there are ways to enjoy dark chocolate while, at the same time, minimizing potential risks. Moderation is key. Stick to a one ounce serving of dark chocolate and don't eat it every day. The health risk comes with continuing and frequent consumption. Bigugekibanultun,tungli 그렇더라도 잠재적 위험을 최소화하면서 동시에 다크 초콜릿을 즐길 수 있는 방법이 있습니다. 절제가 관건입니다. 다크 초콜릿 이론수를 고수하고 매일 먹지 마십시오. 건강상의 위험은 지속적이고 빈번한 섭취라고 합니다. According to scientists from Consumer Reports, a US-based independent non-profit organization, your favorite bar of dark chocolate may contain worrisome levels of cadmium and lead harmful heavy metals. Continuing exposure to cadmium, for example, can cause a buildup of the metal in the kidneys, leading to kidney damage. It's also linked to lung damage, weakened and painful bones and high blood pressure. Even so, there are ways to enjoy dark chocolate while, at the same time, minimizing potential risks. Moderation is key. Stick to a one ounce serving of dark chocolate and don't eat it every day. The health risk comes with continuing and frequent consumption. The COVID-19 pandemic upended just about everything. It destroyed businesses, ravaged government finances and brought sorrow to millions. On the other hand, the turmoil was a boon for the tax sector, as the unprecedented lockdowns, shifts in consumer and worker behavior, and easy access to cheap credit prompted the world's tech giants to double their headcounts to keep up with demand. The COVID-19 pandemic upended just about everything. It destroyed businesses, ravaged government finances and brought sorrow to millions. On the other hand, the turmoil was a boon for the tax sector, as the unprecedented lockdowns, shifts in consumer and worker behavior, and easy access to cheap credit prompted the world's tech giants to double their headcounts to keep up with demand. The COVID-19 pandemic upended just about everything. It destroyed businesses, ravaged government finances and brought sorrow to millions. On the other hand, the turmoil was a boon for the tax sector, 
as the unprecedented lockdowns, shifts in consumer and worker behavior, and easy access to cheap credit prompted the world's tech giants to double their headcounts to keep up with demand. The COVID-19 pandemic upended just about everything. It destroyed businesses, ravaged government finances and brought sorrow to millions. On the other hand, the turmoil was a boon for the tax sector, as the unprecedented lockdowns, shifts in consumer and worker behavior, and easy access to cheap credit prompted the world's tech giants to double their headcounts to keep up with demand. The COVID-19 pandemic upended just about everything. It destroyed businesses, ravaged government finances and brought sorrow to millions. On the other hand, the turmoil was a boon for the tax sector, as the unprecedented lockdowns, shifts in consumer and worker behavior, and easy access to cheap credit prompted the world's tech giants to double their headcounts to keep up with demand. The COVID-19 pandemic upended just about everything. It destroyed businesses, ravaged government finances and brought sorrow to millions. On the other hand, the turmoil was a boon for the tax sector, as the unprecedented lockdowns, shifts in consumer and worker behavior, and easy access to cheap credit prompted the world's tech giants to double their headcounts to keep up with demand. The COVID-19 pandemic upended just about everything. It destroyed businesses, ravaged government finances and brought sorrow to millions. On the other hand, the turmoil was a boon for the tax sector, as the unprecedented lockdowns, shifts in consumer and worker behavior, and easy access to cheap credit prompted the world's tech giants to double their headcounts to keep up with demand.
The COVID-19 pandemic upended just about everything. It destroyed businesses, ravaged government finances and brought sorrow to millions. On the other hand, the turmoil was a boon for the tech sector, as the unprecedented lockdowns, shifts in consumer and worker behavior, and easy access to cheap credit prompted the world's tech giants to double their headcounts to keep up with demand. The COVID-19 pandemic upended just about everything. It destroyed businesses, ravaged government finances and brought sorrow to millions. On the other hand, the turmoil was a boon for the tax sector, as the unprecedented lockdowns, shifts in consumer and worker behavior, and easy access to cheap credit prompted the world's tech giants to double their headcounts to keep up with demand. COVID-19 전염병은 거의 모든 것을 뒤집어 놓았습니다. 전염병은 기업들을 파괴하고 정부 재정을 황폐화시켰으며 수백만 명에게 슬픔을 안겨줬습니다. 반면에 전무후무한 봉쇄, 소비자와 근로자의 행동 변화, 저렴한 신용에 대한 쉬운 접근으로 인해 세계의 거대 기술 기업들이 수요를 따라잡기 위해 인력을 두 배로 늘리게 되면서 혼란은 기술 부분에 도움이 되었다고 합니다. The COVID-19 pandemic upended just about everything. It destroyed businesses, ravaged government finances and brought sorrow to millions. On the other hand, the turmoil was a boon for the tax sector, as the unprecedented lockdowns, shifts in consumer and worker behavior, and easy access to cheap credit prompted the world's tech giants to double their headcounts to keep up with demand.